Kevin Sarwesher. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Uh, thanks for all your love and support. We have crossed two thousand subscribers on YouTube and sixty thousand followers on Instagram. Your love has been great so far. Without further delay, let's get into the video. Before that, uh, I just want to show you through it. I've also become the top mentor on Unstop with all your support on all the mentorship sessions that you have uh, taken with me for Smart India Hackathon. Again, if you want to improvise your idea or uh, get your solution pitch pitch perfect, uh, all this can be done in one-on-one -on -one mentorship session. I'm not telling that if you take the session, you will get selected for finals. It's not like that. But if you want to sit with me and discuss your idea, I'll be your mentor on uh, how to win your Smart India Hackathon, everything. But almost everything I've covered in my YouTube playlist, can I'll give you the link, you can go and check it out. And other than that, I've also given you a lot of resources for uh, Smart India Hackathon. I'll just uh, take you through that. If you go to this link, uh, so over here, if you have, you can see there is a Smart India Hackathon complete roadmap. Like you can go take your problem statement. Uh, I know a lot of colleges have already completed your internal hackathons, but in case if you have not completed and if you want to get your uh, solution ready for your hackathon you can always check this out so basically you have to go take this prompt put your problem statement to it and it will give you the problem statement understanding feasibility of execution impact relevance innovation everything you can generate out of it yeah so uh, i have the 60 most asked questions so basically i've been as a judge for a lot of hackathons i am also an evaluator for smart india hackathon one smart in hackathon two times so i have i know what questions will be asked in your internal hackathon uh, and what will be asked in your finals so definitely this document will also be helping you out on like how to validate your problem and uh, how, how to pitch your solution and product fit uh, how to check your technical feasibility and questions related to that will be asked in your finals and the market scope is obviously most important thing when you pitch as a product there should be a good revenue for your product and all these are very important and yeah business and sustainability and another set of questions are over here so yeah so they basically these are some of the free resources that i have made for you uh, i also told you that i'll be replying to some of the comments of uh, previous video that you guys have showed uh, some love and had some doubts regarding to it and this is regarding how you are going to build your product and uh, what you are trying to build and why are you going to build it these are main important things when uh, you are building something that these are main important things great video thank you so much and okay i mistakenly put mail in one of my member list and now it is showing all mail how can i fix it so in case if you have not submitted your idea in your portal uh, you can still go and edit it like the portal will be open and you can still go and make some changes in that okay so that should not be an issue in case you've already submitted there are chances for editing your uh, team when if you're, if you're getting selected for finals you can obviously make some changes to your team that will be opened before one or one or two months before the finals at that time you can go and make your changes so it's not an issue or you can even send a mail to them but, but all this you can do after you, you are getting selected this is very early for you to do it and yeah once a plagiarism is detected your ppt is not going to be selected so i've been an evaluator and uh, all the ppts i don't think they go through the plagiarism check uh, to be honest in case if you are worrying that uh, there may be plagiarism in your idea or project since you are doing it from AI, you can make changes it's up to you but i generally feel a lot of ppts have evaluated a lot of people have just copied from chat gpt and have pasted it on the pitch deck and all these ppt have passed the plagiarism check if you are thinking that way and yeah i'm a first year college safe and i have to participate in hackathons but i have a problem with the team form ho rahi hai. please help me yeah i've been there uh, agar first year mein ho aap to koi bhi aapko team mein nahi lete hai par if you think uh, that way, you will be always uh, like demotivated to join or do anything. So keep that in mind. Just form a team with any of your first year college friends. Okay. And later, if you start winning, once you start winning, people will ask you to join their team. Okay. You just have to prove yourself. I, I know you just came out of your school and it's just your first year. You may not know a lot of things, but you can form a team with your like-minded friends. And obviously you can go ahead. 
can we remove uh, them below footer as it is using unnecessary? You are not supposed to do that. As I told you, we will be seeing a lot of PPTs and we want everything to be like looking similar, then it will be easy for the, it would be easy for the evaluator to evaluate your idea. Instead, if you have uh, multiple things, right, then it would be a problem for us. Can we add emojis to make it more interesting? Yeah, you can add emojis, uh, but add like limited emojis. Don't make it look very, uh, I mean, uh, cringe or something like that. Okay, these questions, I'll uh, take it after the session. Okay, let's get into the main part of the video. Uh, Smart India Hackathon Hardware Edition or Software Edition. Let's say I've been getting this question a lot of times from a lot of people like, I'm from computer science engineering, but I want to build a hardware prototype. Is it possible? Can I compete with them? Like people who are from core hardware, will they be able to build it? I mean, will I be able to build it? Will I be able to compete with them? And similarly, people from core, like mechanical, civil, electrical, they have questions like, can I take a uh, Smart India Hackathon software version and still win? Uh, I'm going to answer all these doubts and all this perspective, and I'm going to break it today. You will not have these doubt forever, okay? Uh, so I just want to take you through a bit of my story in Smart India Hackathon 2022 edition. I have won software edition, okay? So, but I'm from electrical background. I was able to win software edition. Software edition has become such a way that uh, it's basically anyone can start building prototypes, okay? That is the uh, pros and cons of software edition. So it is easy to prototype. Basically, anyone let's say from mechanical, civil, or electrical, like I'm an electrical guy, but I can build prototypes when in less than one hour, okay, with advancement of a, all these, uh, all these web-based prompt, prompting apps have enabled us to build full prototype from front end and back end deployment, integration, everything is now possible with the help of AI. So it has become easy to prototype and uh, Mostly things are app based and uh, web based. Okay. So basically, uh, either you're going to build something that is going to be web app or an application in a phone that is going to have only two outcomes when you're trying to build a software project. And when it comes to software hackathons, uh, if the problem statement is very easy or like medium level, you'll have to have a very good UI and UX, like user interface should be very good. User experience should sh to be very good. And they'll sec check your security and scalability of your project. Okay, so uh, you have to keep this thing in mind. If you are a software engineer, taking a software problem statement, your UI, UX, security and scalability should be on perfect, right? Because all your competitors mostly will be from software, but uh, that time you should be able to compete with them and software only ideas generally overlap. Uh, so why I'm telling you like that. So when you're trying to build a software, you have just two or three op uh, outcomes out of it, right? You can build uh, something like an AI based or a chatbot to it, a automation for that. You can make a Twilio call for it, a voice calling agent for it. Okay. All these have to come to some of these features at the end of the day. So these are some pros and cons of software only projects. Okay. So why I told like uh, software versus hardware in Smart India Hackathon 2022, I won software edition. Smart India Hackathon 2024, I have won hardware edition, but in my team, I was from electrical. My other teammates are from software. So that is why it is very important to form a team that has, uh, I mean, all the capabilities of handling a hackathon. We won a hardware hackathon where I was an electrical guy. All the others were software engineers. At that time, they majorly worked on uh, all the AI models, how they can automate it, how they can integrate it to the cloud. I was majorly working on giving the connections to the circuit, uh, giving connection to the circuit, prototyping it, and uh, talking with my friends to get my PCB done, um, to get my 3D printing done. All these things are very important when it comes to uh, hardware edition. In hardware edition, you will have to uh, know AutoCAD, how to make a 3D printing, and also how to make a PCB design, how to solder. All these are from like electrical perspective. When you're building a circuit, all these things are important. You should know about sensors, all these things. So Smart India Hackathon Hardware Edition. Uh, so basically, if you see, uh, I feel that hardware hackathons give uh, more satisfaction in the finals. Okay, When you're trying to build a product, you can feel it like you've built something that works end to end and it looks like a per perfect product, right? Let's say this is your phone and this gives you a feel 
of the hardware okay there is a hardware that is running the phone though there is software which is the main application of it but that you need a hardware to run it fine but but if you see there are some cons also for hardware hackathons it's not like all software guys cannot go there and build their hardware projects right they need some people in their team who can work on the hardware extensively right from taking data from sensor to give the output based on it so you have to form a team in such a way you need someone who can take care of 3d printing like you can take teammates from mechanical then uh, you need someone who can do the a integration in boards like raspberry pi esp32 all these things are also important okay hardware takes time so we obviously have five days and it also costs you some money like uh most of the colleges will reimburse it for your prototype your you can ask in your college also and in the nodal center also in finals they will reimburse you the cost of uh, the p- products that you have purchased okay and the best part that is overlapping software and hardware is the iot and iot with a integration to say i just want to take, take you quickly through the problem statement uh, one good news is now problem statements have increased we have like more than 200 problem statements now uh, if you see like 5 3 yeah 235 problem statements are there so far and the problem statement submissions if you see the maximum i think this problem statement will get a lot of submission because it has already got nine problem statement submission what i wanted to tell was if you see there is a category right you go and you can just uh, segregate it like uh, hardware and software uh, why i wanted to take you through it and uh, show you the possibilities of iot implementation internet of things okay even the software projects can have internet of things which means you will have software uh, you will have some hardware iot nodes that will connect data and you will process it and display it in your dashboard you will run a models on it you will do a automation with it all these things are possible and similarly for hardware also majorly your work will be on enhancing the hardware and you can run a models in your cloud you can get the data from here this node and take it to your cloud and you can have a dashboard somewhere but your major implementation will be on the hardware part Okay, so we can just uh, take a look at some of the problem statement over here. If you see, smart was smart waste segregation and recycling system. Okay, this is a hardware project, but they have asked us to do the IoT enabled waste segregation system using sensors, machine learning. Okay, so if if I'm going to take this problem statement, someone has to work extensively on sensors and circuits, but someone also has to have the idea of machine learning in the team. So where you are trying to connect your hardware along with your software, there comes an intersection that is the IoT. You can take up, these are some problem statements where they have themselves given internet of things and expected outcome is a prototype device with 90% accuracy of uh, like, they also need a web mobile app for households. You see, this covers both hardware and software. So if you are taking this problem statement, you have a lot of things to work other than just taking a software problem statement. And that is what, that thought i just wanted to give it to you i know a lot of you have taken a problem statement but most of you would not be aware that you can submit two ideas if you're getting cited from your college let's also take a look at some of the software uh, problems uh, okay a based crop recommendation for farmers okay if you see this is an a based crop recommendation for farmers what they are expecting a mobile based prototype offering farmers Customized science-guided crop advice, increasing income, making resources more efficient and facilitating sustainable agriculture. Okay. They want a image-based interaction trailer for agriculture used. It must support voice and chat references in local languages. So if you see, they want you to determine the crop recommendation based on the soil. Over here, here this though this is a software project, you can implement an IoT based solution to it, right? There is NPK sensor, there's you can take pH of the soil, uh, you can get the moisture of the soil. They, these they, these are different different sensors that are present. You can develop a kit for it, and that kit will uh, act as a node, get the data, it will push to your phone, and that phone will push the data to the cloud. You will do a driven uh, analysis for it. So basically, for you are getting a bigger understanding of what I'm trying to tell, right? Even in software problem statement, you can implement IoT, a bit of hardware. All these will add on to it. So whenever you're trying to form a team, focus on forming a team that are capable of doing all these things. Okay, Internet of Things, you can have real-time data and remote access to the data. And uh, all the analytics also, you can display it on the dashboard. Uh, Yeah, so basically judges in the final round don't just want to see your app. 
let's say if you're taking a hardware problem statement, your main goal should be on building the hardware prototype by end of the third or fourth day. Like by that time, you would have built the entire prototype for the hardware part and then start working on integration of it to the mobile app. You can't just take your mobile app to your hardware problem, hardware hackathon and tell them like we have built only this much. They won't agree to that, right? This it's, It has to be very obvious that you have you are going to the hardware hackathon you have you should have a hardware prototype and similarly for a software hackathon major concentration is going to be on the software prototype and along with that the add-on will be your uh, iot solution and yeah so basically this is what i want you to i mean uh, focus on uh if you're confused between choosing hardware software uh i think software is easy to build fast to scale and hardware hackathons i mean hardware edition for me is gives me more impact as a person I'm trying to build something as a product. Once you try to build something in hardware, no, like you will have to do multiple prototypes, your design might fail, your structure can collapse and it takes you time to build it again. It's not like happening with four or five prompts. That is the best thing about hardware. You'll have to put a lot of efforts. Only the best goes to the end and opens. It's not like, uh, it's not like I know to code. I, I know to, I, even if I don't know to code, I can prototype and build an app, but if someone doesn't know how to give connection uh, to like uh, a sensor, like uh, if he is giving connection differently, like changing the terminals of the, I mean, the potentials, and then uh, what would happen? Uh, like the sensor would just get damaged, right? Then all these things are expected to happen in hardware hackathons. And that is the best part. You can't just make anyone to build a hardware product, but anyone can build a software product. So even if you are from software and you want to take up hardware problem statement, I would honestly recommend you to, to go take. And if you are the fittest, like in those among, uh, like let's say 100 people or 500 people who are going to submit the ideas, if you are the most fittest and if you're not giving up till the end, you are building a product out of it, you are definitely going to win. And that is the best thing about hardware. And always give a chance for your IoT device, like to balance it out, to have multiple features other than just being hardware, other than just being software, you can definitely figure it out. And yeah, uh, I think most of the colleges internal hackathons are going on. Uh, best luck for all of you. In the next video, I'll be majorly covering on uh, how to approach your internal hackathons. That will be soon published. I'll also be taking up some Q&As. And yeah, majorly that's it. I wanted to tell you thanks for watching. And uh, this link, uh, link to all the resources I've given in the description. If you have not already followed me on Instagram, you do, do please check it out. And thanks for watching. Bye.